I think delivering something of this size in Jakarta uh, is a feat in itself. It, it is great to be here doing that and then putting on something like this in Jakarta, Indonesia, something that is, is big, not been done before, albeit MotoGP, but with, with four wheels. It's just something different and it's always nice to be involved in something different. So the formulary scope um, for us is to deliver the cabins and there are 111 of them. A combination of single, double, quadruple and more recently we transformed some into a double stack. Um, each of those cabins are completely fitted out and they're actually now purchased. Um, same with the e-motion structure which is the signature hospitality. They've purchased that but to deliver that um, from the manufacturers, install it as you can see behind me, do an element of fitting out and making sure it's fit for purpose. So from preparation to finish and the time on site, we received the tender mid-January this year. We went through 17 or 18 different versions of, of tenders and budgets and changes of specification and purchase versus hire to then be awarded end of March, early April. Um, we then spent a month, six weeks, fine-tuning that element of it to then arrive on site on the 8th of May to commence the build. So 8th of May through to the 30th of May, we're here constructing and finishing with different handover days on different things. And then the race is the 4th of June. And then we do the reverse process. We take it all back out. So preparation for quotation and the award, you're probably looking at 12 weeks. Um, preparation for the installation on the event and the build and the debug. Again, you're probably looking at something six to seven weeks in total. I would like to think that the eight seasons we've worked with Formula E, and that's testament to our relationship with them and how we work well together. The trust that we have in each other's abilities, both as a supplier to them, but as a client to us, they're very good in, in the detail that they give and the requirements that they have. Some of the members of the, of the team have been there a number of years. They've done this before. Um, they know what they're doing and they're quite clear in their, in their requirements. Uh, from technical and design perspective, what makes uh, Jakarta different is about uh, materials and methods. Uh, like uh, most of the countries, they're all different, so you have to adapt uh, with uh, the local knowledge. We have double-decker structures, we have extra long bridges with calculations, we have a 1.4 high meter e-motion hospitality. I mean, they're all things that make this unique and, and something that's just a bit, a bit better and proud of to be involved with. The temporary structures you can see, or hopefully we'll see in the video, grotto around, whether it be the garages or the double decker or the backup house or a simple first aid tent. Um, so all the temporary structures and again, everything that included with that. And then also the scaffolding. So we've got tech gantries, we've got bridges, we've got disabled platforms, and then all of these things are uh, unique to their own. They're, the bridges, for example, are a bit longer than normal. So the different design, bit of a better calculation. And it's just good to be, to be involved in that element and to provide those things for Formula as a, as a temporary overlay provider, which is what Wicked GL is. Some of the unique features of the design are certainly the double-decker. Um, I don't think there's many of those in, in Indonesia. Um, so the ability to have the FAA underneath, um, where they weigh the cars to make sure everything is and everyone's playing on the level playing field. And then upstairs, you've got the time control and the uh, timekeeping and race control, where they have a view of the pit lane and the garages and they monitor everything as it happens. Um, and then on most of the structures, we've got our unique branding frame. So this is something that we fix to the, to the top of the tent to make a tent not look like a tent. They'll be branding all the way along the front and they're a, a steel design fixed back to the structure and most importantly, they're rated. What I'm showing you most about this project, uh, it's about the people here. Uh, because they're welcome, happy, humble. This is the best part of this project. Formula E Jakarta is a special project um, because it is in Jakarta. Um, it's the first four-wheel motorsport here, I believe. Um, it's the first, certainly the first electric race here. Um, Jakarta itself is, is special. The way they've developed the site and created this racetrack in Antrim Mall is just unique in its own.